Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix, and welcome back to Boundless. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Hitting Gems. This is uh, a Sunday afternoon. It's pretty late in the afternoon. It is pouring raining here, and you know, it's just one of those days where. I decided it's probably time that I record. I haven't done anything all week and pertaining to recording for the channel. And I took a week off um, just trying to get myself healthy. Uh, if you guys don't know, I have low iron levels. So I tend to have these bouts of tiredness, extreme exhaustion. Um, so that's what happens sometimes when I disappear um, is that. All right, so let's get on with it. I'm yelling. And the microphone i do apologize okay so we're here in cree empire and i did contact or actually the guild master cree contacted me about coming to visit this area and gave me quite a bit of information which i did ask for and i'm glad that i did it was it's a kind of a interesting lore that you guys have set up here um it's really cool when people create their own stories for a game that really doesn't have any lore um, that i'm aware of it might be Correct me if I'm wrong, let me know. I know some of you who've been playing this game since the beginning know a lot more than I do. There are still things that I'm still learning and some of you are like, how are you even playing this game? I don't know. Okay, so we're standing here in Cree Mall. Gorgeous mall, by the way. This looks very much like a mall, like, you know, like a futuristic mall would look. But this, yeah, if you have futuristic mall in mind, this is what it looks like. Um, I I love the colors blue white and gray are my favorite colors just so you know so um, this is why I enjoy easy easy peasy easy peasy mall um, oh well that makes sense crazy peasy wow <laughs> I had no idea I had no clue so here we are in Cree mall and gorgeous mall by the way um, and I'm trying to find my way out to the main area and I have no idea where it might be. So let's just, let's just take a look. So this is where you donate uh, items and these are all the different stores. You got foliage store. Um, nicely, nicely done you guys. This is gorgeous. I don't know, it, I don't know if this is individual stores or if this is someone's, you know, mall, like their own, their single mall. Um, it's not like set up like I would think. Oh, I guess it would be because this is Roxy's. So, okay, this is individual stores by individual people. Gotcha. I'm just thinking that maybe it was a singular person, but something this large does definitely look like. I mean, this is my style. I love the iron. I love the, the blue and the white. My thing. Okay, so I'm hoping this is the way out. I really hope that this is the way through your spot. Now, this is on... Glovia Thosa is I, I just call it Glovi because this game makes me feel quite illiterate. But let me give you a little backstory on Cree um, while we're I'm trying to read as I go along. Maybe I'll just do like a voiceover of what Cree is. I don't know. So, um, well, you know what? Let's just go with it. Let's let's go with it. If I get distracted, please charge it to my head. So um, just quickly, I want to look at this. I want to look at this here before we head down the road. This this is really cool. So I'm gathering that the whole theme for Cree is uh, alien. It looks very alienistic. And is that even a word, alienistic? It is today. So um, I, I actually like the whole look. I love these chandeliers. Those are really cool. I might have to bite off of this. Oh gosh, yeah, I might have to bite off of this um, because I'm doing a sort of futuristic cyber punk-ish type build and um, these these would fit perfectly. So you guys use some ore and that is gleam and some filigree, is that filigree? Iron, looks really good, I like it. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that. Um, so this looks like, like your portal hub here, and this is where you have you start your hunts. What's with the calendars, guys? Can you let me know what these numbers are for? Track the leader, creature traps up the leader. 
traps up to the leader. Please leave the... Uh, I can't. Yeah, I don't know what these are for. Can you guys explain to me what these are for? I've seen these in other hunt hubs, and I'm not really sure what that is. Now, for people that um, are watching my videos and do not play Boundless, hunting in Boundless is basically what we do as in-game. And what I mean by in-game is what you do when you level up your character and um, you are leveled enough where you can actually go out and, and participate in something called, well, it's a meteor. When a meteor falls, it spawns um, mobs that are more powerful than the ones you normally see just hanging out in the different worlds. And you gather up in groups, small, larger, small, or solo, and you kill all the mobs and you get all the drops. So that's what we call hunting. And you normally do several uh, meteors at, you know, not at a time, but in, you know, consecutively or whatever, or however fast they fall and however fast you fall and find them. Okay. So there's a lot to see here. You've got Glaze Logistics, Libertalia, Wurt, Cert, um, Zoidberg. I think Zoidberg might be a different plan altogether. So let's just head out this way. Let me give you guys some background. This looks really cool. Oh, perfect. Welcome to Nowhere. This actually starts off the information that Cree gave me. So, Nowhere it says a little backstory about Nowhere. Nowhere is where Cree Empire placed our first block. It is where our fearless army had decided to build a new empire from the mantle up. The Cree, the super intelligence demands nothing but the best. No ore, stone left unharvested, no riches left behind. It is the way. So this is very, oh, check that out. So you can see like in the background there, you see the foreground, that really cool futuristic building that we were just in. And in the background, you can see those like really tall buildings. We'll have to definitely check those out. But this is really, oh, so you've got that blue icicle type look going here. Nice. Very cool job. Oh, this is a cool backdrop. Look at that. Okay. So um, beneath the bedrock, you will find our build, uh, finest builders, foragers, and farmers working towards one goal, preparing for the battle against inferior races across the galaxy. Nowhere, a.k.a. Celestial Jemaya, the analyzer, was once a godlike anthropomorphic uh, alien with unconceivable cosmic power, decided to vaporize our last home world as we would not bend the knee. After thousands of years of war and bloodshed, Kree succeeded after Supreme Hunter capped, defeated, or capped T, capped, um, capped with a, whoa, that hit quite close. There it is, right there, right there. See that? That's a meteor that fell. Okay. So, um, obviously, if those of you play Boundless, you know that's meteor. But for those of you who don't, that's what the meteor looks like. Uh, from afar. So Cap defeated Jemaya and took his head, wow, as a trophy for the supreme intelligence. Kind of, kind of dark there. 1,000 years on after our finest scientists have finished terraforming this celestial's head. Huh? Nowhere was born, a.k.a. Loviathosa, and now we probably call it home. So that's a little background, a little lore that Creed gave me. Um, so that's very interesting and looks like if you guys are looking to looking for a guild home um, they do have weekly buffs and it's like they have factions as well and each faction has their own separate buffs looks like they have the main book which is the main guild and there's a, sup a supreme intelligence a new hunter faction which is called the accuser core it's interesting the accuser hmm. and then we've got um, I think that's it so then, uh, then they have a cream mall, which we came, walked into, and they have goals and visions and things like that. Um, so there is also the hub, which I showed you. So let's, let's do this. We will try to go back and I'll give you information as I see it, but this is nowhere. I guess this is where you guys first started. Um, so let's head into nowhere. Uh, lots of lava. Yes, I see a theme. Ooh, I really am feeling the the brightness of the blue with the like deep reds of the lava. It just is a nice contrast to it. 
Um, ooh, this is this is a workshop. Okay, this would have been perfect, like for workshop wars. Oh, that's nice. They've got a whole collection of all the holiday items that you can get in the game. These are for I forgot what holiday this was for, with the cupcakes and stuff. I just now noticed that those are like lemons on the side of the little Ordi cupcakes. They're kind of cute, right? So it looks like they have all the colors here, all 255 colors. And I'm assuming these are Ordi dolls down here. Yep, these are all the Ordi dolls. These are from the um, the Halloween uh, celebration. And I think that's it, but this is nice. This is really cool. So this workshop is pretty awesome. I, I assume this is for the guild. Charge complete. Sorry about that. That is my headset telling me that my, their, the charge is complete. You probably heard that. I'm not going to cut that out. Oh, so these are, these are for Gleam, but also they have signs telling us what, what they're for. I can read. Um, sorry about that, guys. So yeah, this is really nice. This is a really nice workshop. I assume this is for the guild. If not, if this is just an individual workshop, I really like how this is set up. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's the guild because these are the guild buffs um, that are going here. So this is nicely done. I love the ceilings. Love how you use the, um... oh gosh. I'm, I'm having a real tough time today thinking. Um, it's That's how tired I am. So please, I apologize right now for my lack of concentration. Um, okay, so this is really gorgeous. Nice, nice setting. What's over here? It's got a little farm here. Let's go on the steps. I've never been out this way. I've been to Glovey quite often. Uh, most of the time just looking to farm something specific or looking to sell something, but I don't get to it often enough. And I had no idea this was out here. How new is Cree? Cree seems to be one of the newer guilds. Um, I've been in the game long enough to kind of recognize some of the the OG guilds, um, maybe not the OG players, but mostly the OG guilds. Um, Cree is definitely one that I do not recognize. It's just cute. So let's go up here and see what's going on. So this is a cute little build. I love this color here. Um, let's head back down. Oh, that's a wall. That is a wall, Brandy. Not a door. Um, What's, what's, what do we got down here? Ooh. So it looks like more buffs. So this must be part of the guild as well. Is this like the faction? Because I realized that there were factions, so this actually might be um, a faction um, housing or building. All right, let's head back out, which would make sense. I really like this stairway. This is cool. Hmm. And how they use the glass as fencing. It's a good looking build. Okay. And the fence here. Hmm. Getting some ideas in my head. So let's, oh, this is all little housing. Is this more guild like buffs? This, this looks like a, I want to say it looks like a, Apple, but it's not okay okay let's go okay okay um so ooh. Oh, i'm sorry i can't help myself i <laughs> can't gotta get that bird okay so now we're getting to g2g gtg not going to head that way so let's head out uh i don't know have i done a GTG video? I don't know. I know that I did. Wait a minute, I did last week or last episode. Wow. 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 Okay, that's that is definitely where my head is at today. I am so sorry. This is gonna be fun. This is really gonna be fun. That is that's cute. That's really actually it's not cute, it's cool. Um okay, so oh gosh. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my editing a little bit different uh, to this week, and you might see that 
if there's bouts of where I'm doing a lot of walking, I may just put a little background music, speed up the video, just so I'm not cutting out so much because I, I do notice that um, I miss a lot of, or you guys may miss a lot of the settlements or even like the hidden gym areas when I'm cutting the videos and editing because I do have to cut back on some of my talking or some of the walking and some of the dead air so you miss out on things that I see. So what I may do from now on, um, just depending, did we, we went this way. No, we didn't. This is, this is new. This is something else we didn't see. Um, I may just cut out and add some music. That way you can see what I might be looking at. This is a farm. Oh. This is a candle. Ooh. So this is how you guys are making these massive kindling shred farms. So you've got like three. See, th this is a good idea to do it above ground. I've been doing farms underground, um, at least for shred and combustion. I might start doing these above ground because these seem to be easier to get done. Now, what, what is this in here? Is this open so I can look in? This is another farm. So this is combustion. This is where combustion would be grown. Okay, so headed out. Let's see what's over here. So these are farms. Let me see if I have any information on the farms. Tells me to head north out from the doors from Carl Portal and I can see all the farms. So these are your farm areas. What is this? Is this a farm? Power Man, JD Grow. I know JD Grow. I've seen that name around. Larky! Larky. I love Larky. Larky is, uh, owns paint, the painter shop. I don't know if you guys remember, I did like a quick hidden gem look at uh, Larky's painter shop. Uh, you can find the portal in TNT. If you need certain colors, paints, blocks, go to Larky. I'm telling you. Wow. This is... What is this? Hunt drops. I like how you've got the kindling here. Is this just storage? Guild hub. Hammers. Inorganic. Organic. What? Whose storage is this? I should let me let me let me get a totem out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna see whose storage this is. Carl. Okay, this is Kree's. Like his name is Kree or Carl. He's the one that contacted me. I guess your guild leader. This is your storage. I'm impressed. Really like that. That is really cool. Let's see, let's head down here. What is this? I like how you've got your furnaces. Um, see, now this is different. That is really cool. I love how that they've got like the uh, decorative dime or gem blocks between the um, extractors. So this is all extractors or houses. Yeah, this is an extractor and that drops. Wow, this is quite large, quite large. What is what is in here? I'm nosy as heck. So oh. That is Nifty. Who uses Nifty? Me. This is really, really pretty. I love the... Whatever you've got going on here in the middle. What is that up there? I'm curious to see what this is. And this, this gravel is about to go. So if I die... Um, so there's... Oh. So your forge is up here. How do you get up there? Is this just decorative or just, what is that? How do you get up here? Can you get up here even? Oh, maybe not. All right, so what's down here? What have you got? What have you got? Okay, we just came from up down here. Okay, let's head back up and see what else is up here. Let me eat. Um, so this might be another portal maybe. Or maybe where you're going to add on, because it says future here. So, I guess Forge would be here. Okay, so these look like these are going to be portals to somewhere. Oh, so this is hunting. Gotcha. So this is your hunt lodge. This is gorgeous. I would have never thought to mix iron filigree with... Um, 
with that. <laughs> with that block. <laughs> Umprints. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I should really take a nap. That's, this is where my head is at right now. I should really be taking a nap. Um, okay. So we're headed back out to the main area. Okay. So this is that building that I was seeing from far off. I'm loving this here. Hmm. See, this would be great in my cyberpunk. Um, this looks like... Uh, this would be perfect in my cyberpunk. Look at that meteor going across. That's a good, wow, this is really cool. This is truly like one of those hidden gems that you don't really know that they're out here. And it's kind of sad we don't explore as much as, um, or you know, if you don't get out to explore uh, while you're playing and relaxing, definitely do that. Cause there's just some like really cool builds that you can find. And this is where he keeps all his refineries. I'm really liking this. This is, gives me, Spit Cup uses these colors quite a bit. The gems, the blue gems, yellow gems, and white. Um, I, I like these colors. These are kind of like Superman colors. They kind of remind me of Superman colors. Okay, so let me see if I can find some more information out for you. Um, there's the hub, I think we went through that. Uh, the hub is centralized for connecting to the places we love, whether it's builds, farms, or our allies. Um, so it says that there's a must-see. The newest addition to Cree is a hunting network. We did go through there. It is gorgeous. We have created little courtyards on a mix of our favorite hunting worlds to a daily hunting party for the community. If you want to do a big shout-out, we do three on uh, daily T3 hunts for beginners. Okay, so... I have seen them on Captain America, where I'm actually, it's actually uh, Siphonics uh, Mer Americana is where, America, yeah, where I reside, and I do see them out there hunting because they actually run across my, my base, they have no idea I'm there because I'm underground, but I do see them, and yes, they do uh, daily T3 hunts, um, and so when I'm on for the little small time that I am on, I do see them and it, and I, it always coincides with um, me being on, I see them. So yes, they do have T3 hunts for beginners. So if you are into hunting, or would like to get, start, get started hunting or new to the game and you haven't hunted before, definitely check them out. Uh, they seem to be very organized and at least from what I've seen, because I can see them shouting, quote unquote, um, in the chat. So yeah, um, very cool. I love how this this whole futuristic alien build um, it it goes very well with the, the the lore that you guys have created, and I I think that's very interesting because I know that I don't get a chance to talk to all the guild masters um, when or you know before I go and check out your settlements because I normally don't contact people or people don't usually contact me about visiting their settlement, but. It's nice, ooh, that is cool. This looks like NASA. It's nice that um, I was able to get some background information, like true background information, nothing that I um, would have made up in my own head <laughs> or, um, you know. So let's check this out. Can I get in? Oh my gosh, this looks like I might be looking in this way. It doesn't look like I can actually get into this building. So I, I just wanna back up here really quick. That's crazy. That is so neat. Um, don't see a way in though. Oh wait. Wow. Wow. I don't. Don't. Don't even say it. I know. Wow. Okay. This is like screenshot. I'm gonna get a screenshot of this. Like thumbnail screenshot. That is really, really insane. That's, that's, that's awesome. Okay, it looks like there's some underneath here, but I'm not quite sure this grapple is going to destroy me. Watch. Uh, no, maybe not. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Let's see. So I'm trying to see if this is connected. Do you, if you've ever seen a, um, a launch 
And you, okay, so this looks like the building that either this rocket would launch from, because I thought like this would, was attached, but it's not. Um, and I think we just came from out of this building. I just want to make sure we, yeah, that's where we came from. So while I was gapping, um, I would say that I normally don't get the information about the settlement before I visit. Most of the time, because it's sporadic. I just, I'm just on, if I have time, I just record. I hit the record button and we just go. So this was definitely something that uh, was a little more planned out as far as like getting information about the guild. So very cool area. Um, I don't see, um, if I'm not sure if I missed anything else. It looks like I may have caught like the main areas. There's still some portals that I probably didn't go through. So let's just hop through some. These look, the bigger ones look like they're just, um, okay, let's go up to some of these up here. Okay, so these are some of, looks like some of the, oh, capped. So, oh, okay. Okay, so we were, oh. So this is his workshop. This is like, oh gosh, <laughs> this is Cree, uh, Captain America. Okay, so Captain America, okay, I've seen him around. Does he run the T6 hunts? Okay, I'm, I'm just like, okay. So, okay, yes, let me make sure I get this right. So they have T3 hunts, Captain America runs the T7 Exo hunts. So they aren't necessarily running T3 hunts on Ceph, which is where I live. Um, or, oh gosh, sorry. Hey, just don't mind me. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna take a quick look around. I don't wanna make it awkward for him or me, uh, but we just came through here. So yeah, this is, this, is, this is where we came. This is just startling coming through the portal. Um, so let's go back out to, oh, let's go to Sarah. Let's check out Sarah. So T7 XO hunts. They also do T4 to T6 hunts. Um, I don't know if it's run by who that's run by. So yeah, I would probably contact somebody from Cree to get that information. What is this? Starlight Cave. Hmm. Nice little workshop. this I'm just gonna run through your place really quick oh look at the combustion that looks cool that looks really cool I don't know why I started like whispering but this is this is nice okay um I don't want to get turned around because I most likely I already have so we came through here and uh, ooh, let's, let's go through here really quick Mob drops. I, I like this. This is a really different for a sword. This would be cool for a um, storage wars if I can remember where this is. To make it explore this a little bit more. I'll have to remember this um, place. And let's see, reclaimer. Okay, well let's just stick with this. What's in this? So this is actually out here. So this is a farm. Looks like. Or maybe not. What would we, yeah, this is a farm. Okay, this is, this is a farm out in the middle of nowhere. And this is a nice little network. And Cree Mall, Cree Hub. Um, what do we got here? Where are we at? Where are we at? This is. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. That is really gorgeous. Look at this. What is down here? Is there, is there something here? Is there something here? I, I want to see. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's not die. Let's not die. Let's not kill ourselves. Okay. 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 All right. So. Let's see if we can get out of here really quick and head back out. Ooh.
let's see, this, what is this? I don't have a clue where we're at here. Okay, so I think we were here before. Yeah, we were. So, was the color caves? Hmm. So this is that one workshop. White. Okay, this is interesting. So this is storage. Very interesting. What is okay? So yeah, this is that one place where it was all the caves and stuff. Let's not get too involved with this. We'll have to come back and see this for sure. Um, Reclaimer, we did this. Starlight caves, that same color caves. Okay. All right, so it looks like I've seen quite a bit of this place. I definitely will tell you to come and visit this for yourself. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to see it all in one video because we'll be here forever. And I want you guys to definitely come out here and explore, check it out, um, get to know some of the people in the Cree Guild, even though I don't get a chance to socialize um, as much as I like to. My life is quite busy. Um, and when I do get a chance to relax and, you know, just chill out in the game, I'm usually kind of building or trying to record a video. So, oh, that's locked. Can't go in there. All right. So um, in order for you guys to get here, you just go through the TNT portal hub and you can see Cree Mall. That was the way I got here. There might be other ways, probably are, but that's the easiest way that I would tell you to find it and just come out here and explore say hello to the people of Cree Empire um, I hope that I did you guys due diligence I know sometimes I tend to uh, run around and I miss a lot of things and I more than likely miss a few things here um, there is quite a bit to see and I just honestly this is a cool backdrop for this guild and the lore that you guys set up um, because of just Glo Glovy always gave me like this creepy feel because of all the lava here there's a ton of lava lambless glovey uh i think M M M imadari imadari that's a really cool screenshot definitely one of those gills or, or, or planets that is just really creepy that is really cool that's that's hmm anyways i will check you guys later thank you for watching i have been pixelated twix she has been luna shale I'll talk to you later. Until next time.